Hi friends, welcome to Wizbusters. I'm Emma and today I'm going to talk about the if error function. You see, many times when you are using a formula, you may find that it may result in an error such as hashtag NA or hashtag value exclamation mark. We can use the if error function to handle these errors. But before we begin, to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos out. So what does the if error function do? This function is a stylish way to manage the appearance of errors when they are detected. What does it return? Well, if there is no error, then the standard result of the formula will be returned. But if there is an error, it will return a value you specify. So let's look at how to use the if error function. We need to tell Google Sheets or Excel two things. One, what you want to check for errors, and this can be a formula, reference, value. And the second thing is the value to return if there is an error. These are the two parameters in the if error function. In Google Sheets, this is what you'll see. If error, value, value of error. And in Excel, this is what you'll see. So in this table, we have different companies in the first column, their sales amount in the second column, the third column has the number of employees, and the fourth column is a calculated field of the sales per employee. It is calculated as sales divided by the number of employees. So let's find the sales per employee. Let's type equal sales C7 divided by the number of employees. D7 and we got $76. Let's autofill this. If you did not get an autofill, then you can simply drag the formula down. Notice these are all populated except this row. We have an error hashtag value exclamation mark in the ninth row here. Here there is a comment and it says function divide parameter two expects number values, but 20s2 is a text and cannot be coerced to a number. This means that the denominator 20s2 is a not a number and a number was expected. Therefore, an error was returned. Now to manage this, we can use the if error function. If we type if error equal if error and recall there are two parameters, value and value if error. Firstly, what do we want to check for errors? Well, we want to check the formula for error. And what is the formula? The formula is C7 divided by D7 for this row. Then the second parameter is asking to specify the value to return if there is an error. So let's say we want it to be an empty cell to return a blank. So we type this. Uh, we close the function with a parenthesis and we press enter. So we got 76. And then let's drag this down. Now, notice we can see that there is a blank in this cell. Note you can specify whatever value you want in the second parameter of the if error function. So for example, you can type in something like not found. So let's instead type in not found. Or if we do that, we can, we did get not found. If we want to type in Yes, and we got yes. So before we leave, I just want to give you a list of errors the if error function recognizes. Please see them here. And to learn more about what these different errors mean, you can find the links here and in the description below. And hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.